My name is Michael Devitt, and I'm a medical oncologist at the University of Virginia, specializing in the treatment of genitourinary cancers. Bladder cancer is a tumor that arises from the lining of the bladder. It can also arise from the ureters, which drain urine from the kidneys into the bladder, and from the urethra, which drain urine from the bladder outside of the body. Risk factors for bladder cancer are most notably smoking. So any patient with a history of smoking is at an increased risk of developing bladder cancer. And we encourage anybody who's a smoker to quit smoking. The treatment of bladder cancer is dependent mainly upon the stage of bladder cancer. Early stage bladder cancer, meaning bladder cancer that's confined to the bladder itself, is typically treated with a surgical resection by a urologist. As bladder cancer becomes more advanced and invades into the wall of the bladder, we typically use two different forms of therapy at the same time. Those can be chemotherapy, followed by a surgical removal of the bladder and surrounding lymph nodes, or a combination of chemotherapy with radiation therapy given at the same time. Once bladder cancer metastasizes or spreads outside of the bladder to other organs or distant lymph nodes, Typically, the therapy is systemic chemotherapy or immunotherapies, depending on each patient. 